Well, it's pretty windy right now. As you can see, it's about to storm. So I'm not sure how long I'm going to be here, but I think I found the perfect box. And it's a uh, Ozark Trail Creek and Pond Fishing Kit, 50 pieces for $5. You get all that stuff, bunch of different stuff. I'm going to try some out. They got little Helger mites in here and everything. I'm super excited about this one. Little five dollar box got me all juice. I used to just fish with bread, a hook, and line tied to a stick. Hang out next to a little old creek and see what I get. Start off with a whopper plopper. But uh, I'll go ahead and apologize now for the sound because the wind's blowing so much. I'm sure it's going to sound horrible. Need to get an external mic. Oh, whoa. Get an external mic so I can kind of cut that wind out. There it is. I was like, where'd it go? Beautiful. Barely had him hooked there. Let's take a look at him. Oh, he's got something on his side too. I caught three of them yesterday, right in a row that all had the same thing. I'm not even sure if it, it might have been the same ones. Very cool looking. This water is crystal clear, so I'll be doing some underwater releases today for sure. Let's go ahead and get in here and let this guy go. And this water is always cold. It's freezing right now. <laughs> get two different color of Helgramites in here. I think this might be a Mayfly or something. That thing looks like it'll do pretty good. Two colors of that. Some little crawl dads I can only I use a bunch bunch of them and there's some crickets which is pretty cool we're gonna give these things a shot for sure they look great I'm gonna start out with the Helger mite and I'll probably jump right to the cricket because it looks really good and maybe over here because I already know the crawl deads will work but I've been wanting to use a small Helger mite for a while but I didn't know where I could get any at I used that hook that come with them get a couple of hooks some of them don't have a jig head but let's see if this thing works it looks pretty good to me yep first cast nice what we got oh wow beautiful little smallie so awesome whoa i want to tear your lip up slow down that is awesome. Look at that guy. I mean, that is just beautiful. The patterns. This would be one I'd like to keep and put in a fish tank if it would stay this size. All right, let's let this little guy go. That is awesome this is what i like i mean this the big ones are great but this one's pretty cool and there goes some minnows a bunch of them come over here to check me out let's let him go
through here and see if there's anything. I haven't been up that way. It's actually why I bought the drone because I can't see up through there. I'm gonna fly it around corners like that and see if it's worth the walk. Because those rocks are very slick. It's really just one big rock. Every now and then there's a little patch of sand in it. Let's try to get up through here without breaking my neck. I need suction cups or something on the bottom. Yeah, that looks pretty good. As long as I can get over there, I can walk up through there. Just looking for these little brown patches, and that's what I'm stepping on. I'm running out of them. Because the rest of it is just... You break your neck, is what it is. Well, I'm definitely going to have to get out of here before dark. I don't want to have to walk through here and not be able to see these little brown patches. Let's head on up through here some more. Got about another hour to kill before I need to head back. But I don't really see a lot of promise, basically. It's all pretty small. That's what I thought about this one, though. I'm gonna go check that hole out up there, then we'll probably get out of here. Whew. Maybe it up here it does look a little better. Not as quick moving, kind of deep. Might have at least a creek chub or something in it. God, dog. I think this hook's too big for him. These guys are pretty small. I'll be one in here big enough to get hooked. Oh, what we got? Yep, creek chug. Nice. Wish I had my bucket with me, I'd keep him. Nice size though. They're actually really pretty. I mean, peach color, beautiful. Let's let it go here. Slimy though. Lord, they're slimy. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna get on out of here. I'm gonna go to another creek. I think. I figured I'd had better luck here today, but I just haven't. Another creek chub. That's the perfect size for bait, actually. I might just stick him in my pocket. Nah, we'll let him go. Pretty little guy, though. Swimming away all slow. We're here. This spot's really quick, just right outside of town, as you've seen there. I was just going to throw this Helgramite around, but I'm actually going to throw the Whopper Popper first. I love using it. It's actually my first bait I throw normally, if it's available. Sometimes I leave it in my kayak, or there's leaves all over it, but this don't look bad right now.
something gave it a taste over there. I'll toss this uh, Elgramite out around here and see if I can get anything with it. Oh, something bit it. There we go. Swimming right at me. Oh yeah, real nice creek chub. Holy moly. This is a big one, guys. Look at that thing. Fat, too. Big old belly. That is so awesome. A bunch of little spots on him. Hmm. I wonder if that means it's a different kind, or do you guys know what's up with that? Let me know. Let's toss it back. God, that is slimy. This is normally where I'd go to catch creek chubs. You know, try to come here and catch some and go fishing with them. And I just caught a bunch of bass that day. Now I'm trying to catch bass. I'm catching the creek chubs. But if I catch another one, I'm going to go ahead and see if I got a bucket with me. I'm going to keep them. There's something. Oh, a little bass. Beautiful pattern though. Nice little guy. Let's go ahead and toss him back here. Well, this spot's pretty good so far. Helgramite's working out great. I figured it would though. That last spot, I don't know what was the deal with it. They just weren't biting over there. No, I say it, I jinx myself. I have to catch another warmouth. This is where I caught one at. chub yes sir Got another creek chub nice I might just come back tomorrow and whoa see if I can't catch some of these guys if I can I'll catch them and fish with them for sure I'd rather fish with them live and I hear they die pretty easy I'll still use the heads and stuff. Try to go get me a bowfin or a big catfish with it. Alright, well that looks like it's going to do it. It's getting dark. Getting ready to storm on me, I believe. Going to be storming the next couple of days, so... i got a couple of videos I need to edit. Man, those clowns look wild. What's that? Let's see if I can get something else. Why would I leave? What am I thinking of? Alright, last cast. I gotta get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit like and subscribe to the channel if you're not. Leave me a comment, too. What do you guys think about that little tackle box? I mean, it's just a bad day for fishing, I think, because I believe that thing's going to be on fire, especially in the springtime or summer. Starting to rain on me. What timing? <laughs>